Kobe um, Autry Dakumensa is the Western Regional Minister and he joins us on the line. Thank you very much, Honorable, for joining us. Thank you, too. Wait, so how is the fight against Galamse going in the Western Region? Oh, I think uh, we are doing very well and we are winning. Um, we have challenges, but um, we are winning. So what are some um, of the it's challenges? Like before. So far, as I see, we have more than 30 persons as, that are standing trial in our courts in the Western Region. And unlike before, um, it's the Attorney General Department that are prosecuting for us. So uh, we are make, making some headway. Mm. But but um, in terms of the water bodies, how are they now? Yes, um, we've had these bodies. You know, some of the water bodies, like uh, Ancobra and then uh, Pras. Yeah. Don't only straddle the Western region. It goes beyond the Western region. So sometimes when you put in an effort in the Western region, mm -hmm. um, you don't seem to have the full effect because of other parts of other agencies have not been able to control them as it is. But the major problem we've come to realize about the... Uh, we've come to realize about the water bodies is that the people actually fishing along the water bodies are onions that have been fishing in these waters for some time. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, uh, because they live along the, uh, the rivers, and they actually do fishing in the water. They stop fishing, and they are now uh, doing uh, fishing for good. Mm. So our approach currently going forward is to arrest as part of our strategy. Because in those days, we tend to go there, go and do, try to uh, uh, um, stop the work they are doing. Uh, we sink these some fines and the rest. But because that is the work they do, they come back onto the river. And do so. So now the strategy is to go after them and arrest them. So uh, very soon we get the effect of that. I remember that uh, minister also mentioned about this um, river gas. Mm -hmm. um, the 2022 budget has made provisions for us for that, so that we can recruit and put people on the river permanently to make sure that this is stopped. But our biggest challenge is that along our river bodies, those who have been doing fishes, fishing there, are the people who have started creating this problem. Well, I'm sure um, to some extent you can't blame these people because if the water is polluted and we are not getting any fishes, they probably would also turn their attention into something else. Now, let me find out from you. Are you comfortable with the uh, rate at which prosecution of such persons, um, i.e. people who have been arrested for illegal mining, is going? Oh, yes. I think that now we are getting results. About, just about four weeks ago, we got some judgments, and some people have been put behind that for almost 30 years. So um, we are making um, a great progress. Great. So, um, Honorable, the, yeah. the, the situation that you described, talking about the fact that your river, the rivers are stretching through other um, localities apart from the western region. Um, is there any inter-regional collaboration going on between you and other regional ministers to make sure that oh, we, yes. we have... Yes, um, we've been doing that. Okay. Uh, we've been doing that. But, you know, sometimes our strength also depends on the ability to quickly mobilize our military to action. Okay. Across that length of the river, which is very difficult. So okay. the idea that we are going to put permanently uh, some river guards on the, on the river is key okay. to allow us to achieve our aim of stopping illegal mining, especially on the two reasons, is the river and, and the uh, forest. The, these these uh, river guards, how is it going to work? Um, is it on an um, assembly level basis or uh, how is how is that going to work yes basically yes it's going to be on district level basis okay that, that's how we okay. plan to implement it even though we manage them from the top but they are going to be district level basis okay. so everybody will be will be uh, responsible for for the area that um, is uh, controlling okay now we've just watched a, a video that shows the burning of some platforms uh, that have been built on, on the river um now my question is how how long do people have between swoops for them to be able to build a platform that you have to come back later to come and burn? 
you know, you know, because of what I I told you earlier. Yeah. Um, this is what our current company can allow us to do. Like go there, do a suit, um, bend them, and then come back. We didn't choose. These people are able to build new ones and put them back. Mm, okay. We didn't choose yet. So it's difficult. That's why we have to put people permanently on the river bodies. Okay. If you're able to do that, it helps. And this time, the reason why we are getting a lot of ground is because, you know, we have three levels um, that we are operating. Mm. Usually, it's supposed to have been the RESEC and national. But at, the, at our RESEC level, we have also delegated some of the power to our music. to do take a lot of active part in this project. Okay. So they do the operations. Region, I go and do my operation. National come and do the operation. Mm. So there's no way you can easily bribe anybody. Okay. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Because the work that national maybe army will come and do, I will also go and do my operation and make yeah. sure that uh, I, I take care of wherever there are problems and, and then and, and then do a suit, arrest them and bring them to. Oh. Okay. Usually when they arrest, even when my DC is arrest, I insist they bring all of them to second B. Okay. So that the AG department can take full control mm. of the prosecution. Now, Honorable, um, as we are fighting Galamse, you know, um, we, most of the time you realize that the people on the uh, water bodies are young people. Now, if we are asking them to stop, what alternative um, means do they have in terms of earning a livelihood? Oh, you know that the government has brought, we launched the National Alternative Employment and Livelihood Program. The word is not just only alternative livelihood, employment as well. And we are trying to galvanize all these young people um, into the program. And we have different um, sectors of the program or different uh, projects under this particular program where people are going to do um, land reclamation, people are going to get themselves actually doing community mining because this community mining are places that we are making them um, ethical mining zones in this country. Um, we are looking at uh, people into normal alternative livelihood programs as into vocational and technical skills acquisition um, and the rest. So that is where we are positioning them because if somebody is doing mining, you need to give them an alternative employment that will give you more or less equivalent of the income you might be making in other uh, in the illegal thing. Yeah. So, if you are talking about land reclamation, you know that the figures will be better for such people. If you are talking about how to do proper mining and they are being trained to do proper community mining projects, they get uh, equivalent income than actually disturbing the water bodies or the forest zone. So, that is what the alternative, national alternative employment and livelihood program is supposed to address. Honorable, it seems like you have an uphill task on your hands because for young people who are used to quick money, uh, something that's yes, going to, yes. uh, you know, something that's going to take a while to, to, for them to make money, uh, it seems pretty challenging. But um, we wish you all the best. Thank you for your thoughts this morning.